Tom, just please let me know if anyone has, you know, give us, uh, I'll give a shout out to whoever, you know, put something in the comments section and uh, let us know where they're watching from. Well, Jane is watching from Midlands, Tamworth. Oh, well, Tamworth. Oh, yeah. wow. Amazing. So I've been there before. And so. Ketra's given us a nice round of applause. Oh, wow. Perfect. So. Okay, everyone. So. Now, what I'll be doing is I'm going to be using a profile section down the middle. Now, when I was discussing during the consultation, working with Kevin here about his hair, uh, what we're trying to achieve, I still want him to have hair, right? I still want him to have a longer style. So, but at the same time, I want to kind of, kind of reduce the weight here. So, you see how it's shorter in the front, and then it's also going like a little bit shorter in the back. So, all I'm going to be doing is just kind of like evening that out there. So, I'm working with layering. I'm pulling the hair straight up, a nice even tension. Linda's just giving us a wave. Hello, Linda. Very nice to see you there, or to hear, to hear from you. Now, after my profile section, I'm now going to be taking sections across the head like so. Now, instead of going this way, which is more ver vertical, but in the camera it looks horizontal, now, if I go this way with my sections, I'm definitely gonna be reducing a little bit more weight than normal, as opposed to going across the head like so. Now, if I take my sections this way, I do have the option to over-direct back and also to create a tiny bit of weight, especially in the recession area, and also to help if, I'm, if I choose to have any disconnection. So I will have that option. I'm gonna be starting right in front of the crown and I will be taking sections across the head like so, still working behind Kevin here. So my body position is gonna be behind him. I'm gonna maintain a square shape. So working across, hands up. Now, here we go. So just bring this straight up and I will be going straight across. Now, I'm hoping that we have enough time to show you because we are at the Captain Fawcett headquarters where they have the most amazing, amazing barbering museum here. So I'm hoping that we have enough time to be able to show you some of it. And, you know, there are barber chairs. I mean, I'm using a barber chair that's over 100 years old, you know, and it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> so it's absolutely, you know, to be able to share with you guys this experience here even though you might be, you know, watching this from, you know, across the world, so. Here we go, so I'm gonna follow my guide, working over my fingers, working with layering, because once again, I really just wanna be able to reduce the weight, and I wanna give, give his hair a little bit more body. You know, he's, he's got that, like, sexy silver fox image, and, uh, which I'm, you know, I love working with Kevin as a model, and, uh, but he's got this sexy look about him, and so I kind of want to like, still keep that image for him. And that's why I said to him, I was like, listen, as you're getting older, I think right now this is the perfect time to still have hair. Where, and also talking to him about different ways about styling it as well. Linda's watching from sunny Scotland, your hometown. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so Linda, I'm actually, I actually live in Edinburgh. So <laughs> I'm down here in England. We've been filming our step-by-step -step tutorial videos for our Captain Fawcett distributors throughout the world. And uh, yeah, so, and you might tonight, you might even get a chance to meet the owner of this amazing brand. Uh, his name is Richie, and he might be able to tell you, you know, how many countries they distribute to. So it's actually amazing. And also hopefully we'll be able to show you a little bit about the place here. So, but hello there, Linda. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah. So if you see here, I'm moving closer to the front. Now, as I'm moving closer to the front, you'll see I will be pulling the hair back. By pulling the hair back, I'm gonna retain some length and some weight towards the front. And if you see, it's actually, the hair is actually starting to lift up here. So by working here, working with my sections, pulling this straight up and working this straight across.
Okay. And if you see, you can actually see the lift that he has there. He's going to have such a tremendous amount of a bit more lift and body to the hair, which is absolutely amazing. So now we're going to be going now towards the back. Now I'm just going to use a bit of water now, just to spray the hair down, and just so I can get really nice clean sections. Now, as you'll see, while I'm going to be approaching it is that I really love to be able to um, work with a strong shape first, and then afterwards you know, I'm going to be decorating it or finishing or, or personalizing it when the hair is all dry. So now what's going to happen here? Now there is, you'll see that what happens here. And be pulling this straight back. I will be working with vertical sections in the back. The reason why is because I want to be able to reduce the weight. Now, another thing here is I want to make sure that I'm keeping this a flat shape in the back. Hence why you see my fingers, I'm working over my fingers and also pulling in this straight down. If I work inside my fingers, what will happen is it will tend to be a little bit rounded here and I don't want to do that just yet because of the fact I want to try and create a masculine shape for Kevin here. So I hope they're still watching there, Tom. Yes, they uh, are, yeah. Now. Mm -hmm. There we go. Let's go to the side. Working over my fingers. Now you can start seeing how that shape, I'm keeping that hair in, and I'm also going to be trimming up the overall length. So, once again, I did do the other side first, just because, just for the essence of time, because, you know, I don't, like, I tend to take my time with cutting hair. <laughs> so, I don't want to keep you guys, you know, uh, waiting too long for me to finish your haircuts. So, that's why I did the other side first. Now, for myself, working with men's hair, I mean, it is all, of course, creating that strong shape. And then you'll see when the hair is all dry, I will be then using, you know, from point cutting techniques and also my hair cutting razor to really give a little bit more of a masculine image. So when I was discussing this type of style to Kevin, I said to Kevin, listen, you know, because I know Kevin, the way he dresses, the way he likes to, you know, present himself is that I want to be able to give him... Uh, a type of style that he can change with the use of styling products. He can have a very groom style, uh, just thinking very vintage like, or if he wants something a bit more grungier, you know, he has different options. And I think that's the key thing. So when I talk to my guests and everything, I tell them, listen, what type of image do you, what type of image do you feel today? You know, do you want to go for a bit more rough and ready, or do you want something a bit more grooms? You know, let's try and create um, a type of style that, that could go either way for you. And that's a lot of fun. When we, that's where the creativity comes about. So this, you see I'm over directing this back. Now, my final section here, and that's, I'm still gonna be working with this over direction back. So it's not gonna be a lot of hair coming off, just enough. Vilma says, love lunchtime HB Live. Oh, yes. It's, I know, especially in America, I mean, here it is 7.15 p.m. And uh, so we've been filming all day. And then I said to, I said to uh, the Hairbrain, because I'm a regular Hairbrain educator, I do at least two to three live video tutorials each month. And for me, it's, you know, to be able to help give back to this beautiful industry that I've been a part of for 35 years. And, you know, if I can help any students or anyone to be able to increase their skills and to be, you know, more successful in the barbershops or hair salons, you know, that's, that's what I'm after, you know. I just really want to be able to help people. So, yeah. But, yeah, it's great to be able to, you know, you can take a lunch break from work and to be able to watch a free live video tutorial here on Hairbrain. And for myself, I've been working with Hairbrain probably for... Must be about, hmm, probably about five, at least, I don't know, probably about five to eight years now. So it's been, it's been definitely quite a journey.
You've got lots of hearts from Vilma. You've got a thank you from Ketra. Another oh. heart from Sarah Gardner. Oh, perfect. Guys, just to show you, so I, I have been using, just to help with my sectioning, the hair and scalp tonic from Captain Fawcett. Now this is actually really, this is a perfect design of a product because just say, if I want extraordinary large amount of hold and strength to the hair, I would actually spray a lot of this. I mean, when we were doing the campaign, um, I did about three different looks for each model and it was about nine models. <laughs> so the one look, I want to create a very wet look to the hair, you know, kind of like gel. And I literally just soaked the hair with this and I, and I kind of styled it into place and then we dried it with the diffuser and it was a very strong wet look. So it depends on what you're trying to achieve with your styling for men's hair. And, uh, you know, for myself, you know, it's to be able to have versatile products when, you know, when styling for men's hair. So. Okay, so I'm now gonna be taking vertical sections. Now in this case, what will happen here, I need to compensate for as the hairline goes up by the ear. So I will be pulling out and kicking my fingers out, working with the layering, and that will help maintain the overall length here. So vertical section, Pulling out, kicking my fingers out, there we go. And that's how we're going to maintain the overall length here. Because with Kevin here, I want, I want to give him some options. So, also because of his, his face shape, I don't want to take this super, super short. I still want to be able to have some, some hair and body and weight, you know, to his style. So then it would actually go better with his face shape here. At the same time is that if his, you know, especially with his face shape, if it's quite elongated, if I take this too short, it's going to create too much height and it's going to elongate him even further. Especially himself having a bit of a beard as well. So especially a long beard. Now I'm going to continue still, like I said, working in the vertical section, pushing the hair back, picking this up. I'm kicking my fingers out here. And you see, that's how I'm going to maintain the overall length down here in the perimeter. Continue. Now what will happen, so this might seem like my final section here, but what I'm going to be doing, if you see in this area, I'm now going to be working a bit of graduation right in this area to be able to connect into the beard. But if you see, he's had some like some short areas, uh, we don't, you know, um, that seems like a bit of breakage, especially if he's been pulling his hair back. So what I'm going to be doing is going to be taking diagonal sections by working diagonal, working inside my fingers. And continue. And I just wanna be able to take this a bit shorter here, right in the front area for Kevin, just because so he has the option of pushing his hair back, um, especially back into like kind of like, um, especially if he wears it into a bit more like a ponytail or a top knot. I want to be able to give him some options. And also because it's uh, getting towards the summertime here, I just want to be able to like, you know, make him feel like he's got, you know, a bit more of a, like, uh, like a, more of a groomed look in this part here. But at the same time, so he has that, those options where it could look a bit more groomed or a bit more polished. Um, at the same time, if depending on how he styles it and what product he uses, he can actually also have like almost like a bit more rough and ready type of look. Now, what I'm now going to do, so this is going to be refined. I'm going to do that when it's all dry. So that's when I'm going to be using my trimmers and my clippers. Uh, so you can see, so I will be using my clippers just to refine it 
and also my trimmers, my T-outliners, just to get a bit more of like a polished effect. So, you know, something his wife is gonna be very happy with, it. so he looks like, you know, nice and like, nice and groomed in a way. But then when he wants to go out with the boys and he wants to be a little bit rough and ready, he can, especially if he's working on cars or if he's going to see bands play and so forth. Now here, what I'm gonna be doing is, so I'm gonna be providing a light amount of, of tension upon the hair, because especially if I'm gonna be just doing, you can, you can see why I'm gonna be cutting off really. I'm just gonna get rid of some of that little curl at the bottom. So I'm gonna comb the hair down, working with the point of my scissors, using the back end of my comb to provide a certain amount of, very light amount of tension, so I don't have to use the back of my hand. Um, and so by doing that, I just really just want to be able to, just to kind of, you know, trim up the overall length for him, because it's been quite a bit since his last haircut. So, now going this way, pulling this straight down, same thing. Now, I'm still just gonna be checking this. You know, you could go back over, um, working with your overall, um, you could, you know, I'm gonna be checking when it's all dry and everything, but you'll see that the way I wanna blow dry it. Um, I will blow, be blow drying it kind of straight, um, just so I can go back over it and refine it, working with my scissors, my freehand cutting, and also my hair cutting razor. So, I'm just gonna go back over the, uh, the, the top, the other side on the top, so just as a reminder, I'm going to go across the head, picking this straight up. So it's still working with over direction back. Now, like I said, I've already done the back on the left side. Um, once again, I was just trying to save some time here. But what I also realized is that this, because the barber chair is over a hundred years old, it is, it is like heavier than anything. So for me to turn it towards the left, it's like, it's gonna, I'm gonna get a proper workout. <laughs> so I'm glad I did the left side first. So otherwise it's gonna be very hard for me to turn the barber chair. Ooh. How are we doing there, Tom? Yeah? All good. Cool. So I think, I think one of the, good, uh, the most amazing things about uh, working with uh, Captain Fawcett here is one, I've been working with Captain Fawcett, I've been using their products for over 10 years. And what's amazing about this is, um, for myself, you know, it's just that one, these products are made in England. And this is, you know, I've lived in, I lived in the UK here for uh, over 20 years. So it's great, you know, and also get a chance to meet the owner, also see where they're manufactured, because they are manufactured right here, which is amazing. And, uh, you know, and to be able to be a part of such a, a, you know, amazing, fastest growing brand there is, you know, so it's, it's absolutely, you know, they, they, they've won so many awards for their beard oils, their mustache waxes, you know, it's absolutely amazing. Now, I'm just going back over, just checking everything here. You see, at first, like I said, I'm really focusing on the precision of the overall shape. Then, when the hair is all dry, I'm then going to be able to, um, to refine it a little bit, especially, I'm gonna be working a lot of freehand techniques. Cool. Any questions there, Tom? Anything I need to know? Or? No, there are lots of hearts, lots, lots of, of people hearts. liking it. Oh, perfect. Um, lots of... Loves and likes coming in. Oh, I am. That is just making my day. But I'm assuming you're just explaining everything so well they don't have any questions. No, I actually think <laughs> it's the way you're doing your filming. Oh, is it? Okay. I think that's what it is, Tom. So. It's my brilliant film work. That's yeah. 
Uh, Tom is our professional photographer, and you know he's done famous uh, programs here in England and everything. And he's actually filming our live video tutorial off my uh, off my iPhone. So I think I'm going to have to promise him a, a very sweet gift uh, for doing this for me. So, uh, but at least Tom knows that we, we're doing our best to help other barbers and hairdressers throughout the world by offering the free education here. So. Okay, so what I'm now going to do... So Got I lots of likes for that comment about uh, helping people with a free education. Yeah, I think, and that's one of the key things is, is, you know what, we never stop learning. We never stop learning, guys. Okay? And that's the thing is, and this is what Hairbrain is about. I mean, I've been a member of Hairbrain uh, for ever since they, they, they started with the rod and everything with Randy. And so for me, it's just like such a great platform that, you know, to be able to, you know, so many barbers and hairdressers and hair colorists all come together, you know, it's absolutely amazing. And I know Gerard is trying his best to be able to deliver, you know, education throughout the world, you know, and I owe a lot to Hairbrain myself, you know, and that's why, like, you know, I donate my time to be able to do, you know, live video tutorials, you know, and to be able to share knowledge with others, you know. And the, the reason why is the more I do it, the more I learn, you know. So, so right now I'm going to be applying that hair and scalp tonic because I'm going to use that as more of like a kind of like a blow drying spray, and uh, and so I'm going to be just applying it throughout the hair, um, especially to the roots, and uh, yeah. And what I like about these sprays is the trigger nozzle, which is great, but also the size. The size is massive. Uh, and so, yeah, and also the fragrance. I really wish you guys could smell this. Uh, it's absolutely brilliant. So I think it's just such an amazing, amazing fragrance there. So I wish you guys could smell it. <laughs> but if you could kind of see, Tom is tasting it right now. It does uh, smell amazing. <laughs> Ketra said, thanks, Tom, by the way. <laughs> So you can kind of see the way this type of shape is that I'm creating for him. Um, even still, if I, you know, if I was doing a photo shoot, I mean, I can soak this down, I can just do more of like a wet look. And that's what was great about this product. <coughs> <coughs> what's great about this product is that it's kind of like a multi-purpose type of product. So, now what I'm gonna be doing is, so I'm gonna be using kind of like a flat brush, it's very like Denman style. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be blow drying it back and with the top I'm going to blow dry it up a little bit and to create that little bit of volume. Now, what I, like, I can't, I'm so excited about where I'm filming this. So I'm just like Tom, like, you know, if there's any last minute question, but if you can just give a tiny bit of a view of the Captain Fawcett headquarters, but at the same time, I would like to introduce the owner of Captain Fawcett, and you're gonna love him. He is a character, and he is actually a very good close friend of mine. His name is Richie. Hello. How are you? I'm the I'm the right hand man, and I'm behind uh, Captain Fawcett. We're very pleased to be working this evening with none other than uh, Mr. Sid Sutton. I'd like to welcome you to. Captain Fawcett's Emporium. We're in the King's Lynn, which is on the east coast of England, and we have what is arguably the world's largest barbershop museum. It's over 9,000 square feet of, of manatee. And here we still make all our own beard and moustache products, and there's not many companies can actually stay there. We have very recently launched into the US, and we currently sell into 48 countries. I started the brand in my kitchen making my own moustache wax. I have to say I didn't realise I was going to be on camera today, so I'm, I'm not waxed to the hill as per normal. But we still make the majority of our products. We have a fantastic brand that we care for me. It's in everything you could ever need. But Tom, have a little look around. We've got, I don't know if any of you are into motorcycle. We've got a very old Indian here, 1942, 1937, PSA. In 72. I'm trying. But if we were able to go upstairs, I mean, you're here obviously for, for a Sid's tutorial, but maybe later we'll be able to have a little look around and see some of the fantastic things that happen yeah. in there. Vilma in says the you look amazing. Do you? Oh, thank you. Vilma. Hello, Vilma. Thank you. At my age, we need all the encouragement we can get, so thank you very much for that. 
So our oldest raiser here is 16, 15, which is like nearly as old as me. So if you ever get the opportunity to visit Kings Lynn, please come and have a look at our barbershop museum. You'd be very, very welcome. And who knows, if I'm in the country, I'll give you a personal tour. I thank you. Back to Sid, I think. That's what I got. Bye. 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 <laughs> So, so you've met the owner of Captain Fawcett and now, like I said, I've known Richie for, you know, 10 years now. I've been working very close with him. So I'm actually the, uh, the head of the education program. And we actually just did a tour, a European tour, where we were <coughs> doing shows in Prague, in, uh, in Serbia, and also Bucharest, Romania. And we just got back and now we're filming the last three days for step-by-step -step tutorial videos for the distributors. So it's, you know, it's been going great. So if you see here, I'm kind of getting to the end of the blow drying. Um, it's kind of seeing like, you know, I really just want to try to create that volume for, uh, for Kevin here. And you'll see afterwards, when the hair's all dry, I will be kind of like creating, um, like I said, with the texturizing technique, but at the same time. So please let us know in the comments section, how you would like to see this style. You want to see it messy, a bit rugged, or a bit, you know, vintage, smooth? Let us know in the comments section, guys, yeah? So. Wolf Barbers just said it's on my list of places to visit. Oh, yeah. You have to come here. You, it's a free experience here at the museum. Uh, honestly, like, I really want to be able to show you guys. Please let us know in the comments section as well. If you want to see the video footage here at the end of the live video tutorial of the museum. So let us know, give us a thumbs up. Let us know, give us a heart in the comment section. Honestly guys, this is, I'd have to say, this is the best barbering museum in all the world. So, and I've been to a lot of them. Now, just want to be able to kind of also show you, as I'm finishing up the blow drying, now Tom, do you want to just kind of pan out and just look at the products over here so they can see what's on the, on the market from Captain Fawcett. So we have, uh, uh, just to show you, the Barbarism range is actually my signature range, which was a collaboration with Captain Fawcett. Uh, and it has my, my signature scent which is absolutely amazing. So it's a very premium scent, which I absolutely love and adore. We also have the new hair powder, which I'm gonna be using a little bit, and the hair oil. Then now we're going to the other signature ranges. We also have the new pomades, uh, and they are, the packaging is out of this world, so. And we have all the different fragrances. We also do wet shaving products as well. But if you can see a wide range of different type of premium products from Captain Fawcett. Okay, so I'm just gonna just quickly just kind of rough dry this a little bit with my fingertips. Then you can see I'm then gonna be using my gonna be working with the texturizing here. Then I want to show you the styling for men's hair. So please let us know. Has anyone said about what type of style they want to see today? No, yeah. Yeah. Let us know if you want to see messy or smooth or a bit rugged. You know, vintage style, please. Let us know in the comment section. But I think the thing is, what's great about Kevin's hair, it can go either way. So. He's got a lot more volume in this hair now, so which is absolutely spectacular. Wolf Barbers would like to see vintage style. Oh. Winky face. Winky face, <laughs> okay. Okay, so at this point here, what I'm gonna do is just gonna refine this here. So uh, I have a couple different options, but what I'm gonna be doing is, so you see here, I'm just gonna be working with the the trimmer here, so just move this a little bit. So I'm just kind of working with almost like a C shape or C cup method. 
just kind of refining it and also kind of like want to be able to work. And I'm using my Andes T outliners, which uh, for me, I mean, they're absolutely brilliant. They got an exposed blade and I'm absolutely loving them. They are my favorite trimmers from Andes. I'm also an Andes global educator, so it's just great to be able to work with you know, such amazing brands in my, in my career. Now, once again, so I will be working, in this case, because it's such a small area, I will be working with a little clipper over comb technique. The reason why is I just like, I'm not gonna go too crazy. I just wanna kind of like refine this area here. So I wanna still wanna give a little bit more of like a natural effect. So just really just taking this little bit of weight off here. You work a little freehand technique. You want to sit here in, in certain areas. The amount of body he has now in his hair, which is absolutely spectacular. You know, um, and I think that was one of the things that was discussed in the consultation, you know, especially when I, when I was talking to Kevin, I was just like, okay, you know, like, you know, what areas are you concerned with, blah, 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 you know, he, and he was up for anything, to be honest with his hair, and I was like, well, okay, to be honest with you, I actually love his personal style, and I was saying to myself, I was like, listen, I just don't want to cut all of it off. You know, just what, just give him a fade. I was just like, you know what, let me try and create something that one, it's just like, you know, it, it will go with his type of look, his image, and you can see he's got an amazing beard. And, uh, you know, it's, so it's really just trying to, to create a look for him that, you know, one, it could go either way, you know, so it could be either vintage or, uh, you know, grungy, you know, something that's supposed to be practical, so he can brush it back, and it's also gonna help stay back. So right now, I'm going to work with a variety of cutting techniques, such as point cutting, also slice cutting as well, just so it kind of, I want to kind of rough it up a little bit, because I did put a strong shape first. Now, I just want to rough them up a little bit, just so it kind of like, it looks a bit more, uh, makes it look a bit more natural. Um, I don't want it to look like too much like a graduate bob or anything like that. So, like I said, doing a variety of different type of cutting techniques. So if you have any questions about the cutting techniques that I'm doing, please let us know in the comment section. I'm just reducing the little weight, especially towards the front, so he can. There we go. That's it. Cool. I mean, you like I said, you can make him look like, uh, you know, like something from Wall Street. You know, that nice, like, sexy city boy look. You know, a bit more rich, a bit more expensive look. Uh, you can make him look like it's it's a bit more grungier, a bit more masculine shape. It's the choice is yours, you know, and that's a beautiful thing, you know, and also just changing it up with product as well. Riz Rizcard says, "Cool dude, that beard." I know it's, it is a cool, really cool beard he has. So we were trimming it today. Uh, for the Captain Fawcett tutorials that we were that we were we were filming today, so yeah. do you guys do beard uh, trims in your salons or barber shops? Let us know in the comment section. You know, do you want to learn how to do beards or you know different type of services for beards? 
you know, if you ever do a hot oil treatment for the beard, you know, there's plenty of things, you know. I mean, uh, myself, you know, because I, I teach from, from wet shaving, beard designing, men's cutting, ladies cutting, coloring hair, you know, I do it all, and I absolutely love this industry. Well, I love all of it, so. Rana says hi. Hello, Rihanna. No, Rana. Rana. Hi, Rana. You okay? She says superb. Oh, perfect. That's what we like to hear. Yeah, he's got wicked hair. Like I said, I'm just really just taking a lot of weight off. I want his hair to have body. You know, I really want to be able to give that kind of like really expensive type of look to the hair. Now, when I come this way here, good, good, good. So, like I said, working with that bit of slicing, and the purpose of this is this is going to really help control the shape and also direct the shape or direct the hair in the direction you want to go in. So it will reduce the weight and also kind of like still give that lots of texture. And I think that's the key, the, the key thing is by, and especially with your clients that maybe possibly that want longer styles, but they hate when it fluffs out, you know, they feel like, oh, it's like too fluffy. You know, this is a great cutting technique that will help kind of control the hair, you know, taking that weight off and kind of give, still give that, you know, rock and ready type of image. Rana says, love from Pakistan. Oh, and Pakistan. Sunita says hi. Hello, Sunita. Are you okay there? I was in Pakistan. So I was in Pakistan just four weeks ago. Yeah, the owner of the Richie was in Pakistan about four weeks ago. Yeah, I was on. I was in uh, Islamabad. I was in Peshawar. I was in Lahore. Amazing country. Absolutely fantastic time. Thank you, Pakistan. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so let's break out the hair cutting razor. Now this is like, you know, with all these techniques that I'm showing you. Uh, this is something that you, you know, we show on our new uh, online, online courses and we're launching our next one, which is going to be almost like a unisex for men and women, creative cutting. And that's going to be launched in June. So, if you want some more information about that, please see my Instagram, which is Sid Sultan Academy. And yeah, so you can also sign up because I'll be doing some free webinars on there as well, free classes. So please, you know, sign up to our waiting list and you'll find out some more information about that. So now in this case here, I'm actually going to be using, uh, this is the Feather uh, Hair Cutting Razor or Texturizing Razor. Now this is something you can get at hairbrain.pro and from their shop. And uh, yeah, so this is something, you know, I'm gonna be just using, like really kind of skimming just to take some weight off. You know, and also just really kind of going with the direction. How's the lighting there? I'll just turn around like this way. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, it's about almost a quarter to eight here uh, we are in England right now, so it's, uh, <laughs> it's, um, here we go, just taking that weight off here. Uh, so it is getting a little bit dark right now, so I do apologize if the lighting has changed, so. <coughs> What's the Instagram? Hairbrain official, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you. Rana says, the way you teach us is amazing. Oh, oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, please just feel free to ask. You know, like I said, I just want everyone, you know, really just want to be able to help. Uh, so if you see what I'm doing with the razor here, really just kind of like just taking, I just want to skim it and just taking some weight off here. So really just taking, you know. Vilma says, so appreciate you all. Thank you for your time. Oh, hey. You know, once again, I think, you know, to be able to help others with their, you know, with their careers and their journey, you know, it's like, that's what it's all about, you know.
And then what I'm going to be doing is, we will then... So let's get into the styling product. And I think what's amazing, like, you know, you know, I can I can style this in many different ways. Like you can see the amount of body he's getting, just like it's crazy how much body he's getting. And that was just using the hair scalp tonic. Um, so depending on what you're trying to, I think I might go for kind of like a mixture of like kind of like a little messy with a bit of like um, kind of like a bit more voluminous, messy quiff. And so it's kind of like a combination of like a messy pompadour. So I kind of want to give him that rough and ready type of look. So when he goes home and he sees his wife, his wife will not know what hit her, honestly. She's going to be like, oh, he's a, he's a silver fox. Kevin Johnson Day, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you. Double checking. Like I said, just kind of just breaking into that there. And then now let's play around with the styling. So I'm going to get these hairs off of first. I do apologize, Wolf Barbershop. Unfortunately, uh, it's not going to be a complete vintage look. It's going to be a combination, right? So I'm a bit cheeky like that. Uh, it's going to be a combination of a bit more of like a, uh, kind of like a margin quiff, also like a messy pompadour. So the first thing, so I like to, um, I like to layer products in a way. So knowing about what I'm trying to create with products, you know, and also knowing about products. So. Uh, <coughs> What will happen is, so I'm gonna be playing around with two, of, you know, two of the products from Cap and Fawcett. So first, I like to apply the Cap and Fawcett styling powder. Now, with this here, now I'm using this, you know, one, it will also help give volume and also a bit of a light hold. But also, what I like about this is, I use this almost as like a primer. So for myself, it's like, especially with the weather, it's getting warmer out. You know, this is a great product to be able to uh, uh, to be able to help support the hair, and also to help you know, so it won't be too heavy. And especially if he's sweating or if he's working, uh, it's a great product to to use. See, especially in barbershop, styling powder is actually a very big seller, so it's quite easy. Uh, so that's the. That's what I'm using. And what I love about the packaging, it's like everything from the mustache is like the, uh, uh, the uh, barcode. Barcode, thank you, sorry. There's a mustache. And also you got the little packaging, like the little design at the bottom. And then even at the top, you have the logo and also the CF. It's absolutely amazing. Great idea with the packaging. So. So I'm just going to be putting a little bit of the hair putty in the hair, just to help show separation. Same thing, I mean, it's got an amazing, even the lid, you know, you know, keeping a stiff upper lip, you know. Um, I'm just using a tiny bit of the putty here. And it's great because I do want a certain amount of weight when I'm styling the hair just to help with the control. I mean, a lot of times, especially with guys, we put a little bit more here. The reason why is because especially, like, I know that's the area that's going to bother him. It's like, you know, he wants to, like, kind of push it back. So... So 
if I'm in the way, guys, I apologize. Yeah, I'm just going to be playing around with the comb. Just going to see how that works, you know. I just want to kind of still like, I still like doing a natural style. Um, you know, just still tuck behind the ear. Then I'm going to show you a little bit of the beard products. But you can see the volume he has, which is absolutely, absolutely spectacular. Now we're going to be using the Captain Fawcett Beard Balm, and which is the Barbarism range, which is my signature scent. And so, the reason why I'm using Beard Balm uh, versus Beard Oil, I kind of just really, really just want to tame um, the beard, especially with the wiry hair in certain areas. So, by doing this, I'm just going to really kind of work, emulsify my hands. I'm just going it. Lots of thumbs up for that. Yeah? Yeah. I think that's the key thing. So it's like, of course, so you either have the beard oil. Now, uh, the reason why I didn't use the beard oil, to be honest with you, now, even though his beard is very suitable for a beard oil, it was just that today we were filming and we put so much oil in his beard during the filming. And also his, his beard is very well conditioned. That's why I was going more or less for the beard balm because that is really perfect, especially when hair color loses, like, you know, goes white, it's losing its color pigment. So that's when it gets very wiry. So that's why I need something with a little bit of consistency or a tiny, tiny bit of weight to help control that. So that's when deciding when. Um, so for example, with normally I would use a beard oil on Kev because then the oil will go down the hair shaft and get down to the ends to nourish it and condition it. Now with the beard balm, I tend to use it more or less on more shorter beards or if I just want to kind of almost like control the beard. Now with Kev's length of beard, I can do both. I can use the oil and the beard balm as well. And also, I can also use my fragrance as well. So, a little cheeky little there we go. So when he goes on, he's um, an amazing old wife. So I'm yeah, just going to clean up any loose neck here. Smells amazing. Yeah, it's it is honestly. I think I really like the fragrance. I mean, it's it's not your typical barbershop scent. Um, it's got you know, it's got it's got orange, got lemon. It's 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 got everything in there. It's like it reminds me of Italy. You know, especially when I was growing up working in Italian barbershops. I mean, it really gives a beautiful beautiful scent. Ron has given two thumbs up for the classic look. Yeah, perfect. Amazing. A bit more volume. Wolf Barbers looks really nice. Perfect there, guys. Amazing. Yeah. So, as you can see, just a bit of a recap. Now, just a bit of a recap, um, you know, I had started off on the top section, working straight down the profile, then I worked 
I worked across the head like so, pulling the hair straight up. When I got closer to the front, I pulled the hair back, just because I want to keep some length towards the front. The overall shape was I kept it, in Kevin's case, I kept it nice and nice and square. So I just, it was more in the middle area of the weight I was removing. Then in the back, I kind of kept it because it was kind of like rounded off to begin with. So I then still worked with it. So working with vertical sections in the back, pulling the hair straight out, keeping a square shape. Then as I proceeded to the sides, what happened was, I then was almost kicking the hair out, still using vertical sections to maintain the overall length. Then I blow dried with the Captain Fawcett hair and scalp tonic. And that's where I got a lot of volume, which is great. And then I style and finish with the Captain Fawcett volumizing powder and also the hair putty. You know, I could have used a little bit more hair putty, but I just, I still want his hair to have movement. Um, you know, a bit more floppy, so when he's moving his hair around and combing it, you know, brushing it with his fingers. That's why I didn't go too crazy with the putty itself. All right, the putty will have a certain amount of hold to help control his hair. All Rizgard right. says, wow. Who does? Rizgard, Rizgard. Oh yeah, well, perfect, thank you. Yeah, I think it's just nice just to be able to, uh, to be able to, you know, spend quality time here at this amazing barbering museum and the, the headquarters of Captain Fawcett products here in England. So, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. So do we, do we have time to show you just a quick view of the museum? Let us know in the comment section, give us a thumbs up if you've got time. We, have, we can give another three, four more minutes.